Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different than what I've done uh, with all the other raw denim that I own, all right? We're gonna be soaking a pair of 15 ounce naked and famous Japanese selvage denim after I've worn them 200 times. Yes, you heard that correct, 200 times. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna head on down to the bathroom. We're gonna fill the tub. We'll get them in the drink. We'll soak them, we'll get them out, throw them on, see what they look like. I have a feeling that 200 wears are really gonna impact how awesome the fades look on these jeans. So let's get started, all right? Hey, all right, so here we are. We're in the bathroom. We're about to get these in the tub, but let's take a quick look at some of the fades uh, that have occurred and kind of where the distressing has occurred uh, in these 200 wears. So naturally you've got this here, you got your whiskers going on. Uh, up here where I keep the pocket knife, you'll see that distressing. Uh, spots where you unbutton a lot, uh, you know, or get a, lot, a little more action, like where the belt is, you're gonna have a lot more distressing occurring here, as you can see, uh, with your pocket as well. Uh, you got your knee distressing, all right? Coming in really nice here. Uh, the indigo's fading away. Oh, nice, it's gonna look good. And then you're gonna have some stacking down here, especially uh, depending on how much of a cuff you wear, right? Your denim's gonna stack around here. Uh, also, note to all viewers, uncuff over the tub because that's disgusting. You don't want that on your floor. Uh, over here, you know, your cuffs are gonna take a little bit of a beating when you wear 200 times and don't clean them. But these aren't too bad, actually. I've seen worse on my other jeans. So this is pretty cool. Looking good there. I like the back pockets. They're really cut nice to a size that fits a wallet perfect. Right? Your wallet doesn't slide around. As you can see here, it's almost squared off, almost in the center. Uh, I've been keeping my cell phone in my back pocket from time to time. I think we're seeing a little more distress there, but it's not as bad as the cell phone fade on uh, my OG pair of Brave Stars that um, you know went through two generations of iPhones. Uh, then you got honeycombs back here looking real nice. I think these are gonna pop really nice uh, once we clean these jeans off. All right, so next step, what we're gonna do is fill the tub with some cold water. All right, quick correction to what I just said a moment ago. We're gonna put these in warm water with a little bit of free and clear detergent, all right? Uh, right here, hopefully it's right there. Uh, some people say there's specific detergents to use. I don't know, I'm just gonna put this in there. What we'll do is, like I said, warm water, a little bit of detergent, agitate the water, then get the jeans in there inside out and agitate those, all right? Like similar to a washing machine, just for a few moments, not even a minute. And then we put the weights on top of them, shampoo, whatever you have, a Mr. Bubble. And then what you do is let it soak for 45 minutes and we'll go from there, all right? Let's get started. All right, if you've seen my other videos, then you know what we're gonna do here. We're just gonna fold it over here, roll these up. Also, don't use a nice towel. You might get some indigo bleed over on transfer. All right, so there they are, hanging up to dry. Um, you know the deal, we try to just hang them up, air dry them uh, without any like kinks or creases uh, in the denim so that it dries nice and even, all right? Uh, and just to dry us without any extra creasing that uh, you know wasn't from wear and tear. So yeah, that's that. We're gonna let these dry and we'll be good to go. Okay, here we go. Let's take a look at this finished product. Yeah, I'm gonna put these on in just a few minutes too. We'll see how they look. But yeah, you can see like we got the pocket knife fade. The whiskers are looking nice right there. All right, some stains, but you know what? That's life, man. That's what happens to your jeans when you wear them. All right, you got those knee fades looking tight. Yeah. Nice. Ain't right, no rips. Where the cuffs go. Who should have scrubbed a little more. Right, yeah, it's still feeling really stiff. They got a nice stiffness to them still. All right, so it's back out. Yeah, they've lost some color. They're definitely a little less, not as dark right now, which is what we were going for. All right, and we'll look at the back. Yeah, look at that, nice blue. Get those fades in the pocket, the cell phone fade, you know? This is like cell phone fades 2.0 for DIY tutorial guy. We got our honeycombs back here. Really nice. Getting a little closer, yeah. My dog out back barking like a madman. Everyone's favorite. Yeah, looking awesome. All right, so now, well one, I gotta get a quick shower. Look at this hair, I'm a total mess. Um, I'm gonna get a quick shower, I'm gonna throw these jeans on, we'll see how they look, and we'll get out of here, all right? 
All right, so here's the jeans. I put them on. Let's just take a look. Uh, this was the best light being outside, I think, in these conditions. So, yeah, take a look at the front. I think it's lost some, some of the indigo color, which I really like. They faded a bit. Yeah, so overall, I think 200 wears and then washing them has definitely pronounced a lot of the fading, especially considering that I soaked these before I wore them the first time. So they already lost a little indigo. But overall, um, I think these are really great jeans. They're put together really well because even after those 200 wears, they're not falling apart yet. And yeah, hope this video helped. If it did, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications so you get the next video. Talk to you later. Peace.